16, 20, 20. I'm Pastor Rusty, and these are my inspirational thoughts for today. I was looking at my Bible app, the YouVersion app. If you don't have it, I recommend it. It gives you a tidbit every day. And a lot of times I'll just take the verse that's the verse of the day and give you my thoughts on it. And today's verse is very powerful. It's in Colossians 3, 13. And the NIV says this, Bear with each other and forgive one another. If, if any has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And you think about what a Christmas gift that you could give somebody. What, what a, what a, a God-honoring way to just, if you have a grievance, if you have something that someone has offended you for. And a lot of times people have offended us and they didn't know they offended us and we're the only one that's mad and we're not hurting them whatsoever. We're just mad. But the truth of the matter is, if somebody has done something that you took offense at, and if you think about what God has forgiven you for, and how he's not holding those things over you. Think about what a Christmas gift you could give. Just forgive somebody this year. It's Life is too short. It's one thing that, that my uh, immediate family has realized this year in, in the loss of my beloved uncle is that life is too short to hold grievances. If somebody's wrong, you forgive them. Now, maybe it's not a situation where you can reinstate them to your life because maybe they can't be trusted. Maybe they, they haven't repented. Maybe they haven't asked for your forgiveness. But it would be wonderful if in your heart you would say, I forgive this, which means I choose not to bring it up. I choose not to make it an issue in my life. I'm walking away. I'm laying down the hurt, and I'm letting God restore me. Now, that has great power in your life. That you have the ability to then, you know, a lot of people live rent free in other people's minds because they're so mad, they're so upset, they're hanging on to something all the time because somebody's not doing what they thought they should have done or not being who they thought they should have been. And so we hold on to those grievances which hurt us in the long run. They, 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 they instill bitterness, they, they cause us to have, um, the wrong view of the world. We we can't receive the blessings and we can't receive the things that God has provided for us because we're holding on to a hurt. We're holding on to some, and maybe somebody really did honestly do something to you on purpose to hurt you. Some of those things are hard to get by. But if we will seek the Lord's guidance, if we'll seek his wisdom and say, Lord, help me to forgive so-and-so because of what they did to me. Help me to let go, and then let God take care of that. Let God work in that situation, and we just keep our eyes on Him and let Him restore us to a place of peace. Because that's what we've lost when we're holding on to a grievance. We've lost our peace. We've lost our sense of well-being, and and I, that hurt can fester, and it become, can become a cancer in our life. And so, my thoughts for today, something that you can take care of today, run through the list of grievances that you have in your mind. Now, maybe you're not like me and you don't have a list of grievances, and I say, God bless you, how wonderful that is. But if you're like me and you've got a person in your past that you just, maybe you've got to return to this a few times. And that's something that I've had to do, is return to it and say, you know what, I picked it back up again, Lord. I picked up that offense. I picked up this, or I picked up that, and I shouldn't have. And lay it back down again. So that you can then get back into that restorative place and that healthy place where, where we're not focusing on those things. That would be a wonderful thing to do today. A great Christmas gift to yourself is to forgive those who have offended you. Well, I'm Pastor Rusty, and these are my thoughts for today. I'll talk to you later.